Hey guys, stay just where you are today because I'm going to be talking deep and personal about why people let power get to their head when people are at the bottom and they work their way to the top and then the power gets to their head and they stop being humble. It happens all the time and it's very important that we actually discuss it now and I'm going to go deep and personal to get to the bottom of why people are like this and then how it can be avoided. But the question really is, why do people do this? Why do people act like that? See, it could be a matter of insecurity. And I do believe that that is a big part of it. What I mean by that is, if you are insecure about something and you have it given to you, naturally you're going to want to make the most of it. You see, power gets to people's heads when they are insecure. When you are insecure about something and all of a sudden it's given to you, then suddenly you're not going to want to let it go. You're going to make the most of it while you have it because you are so insecure that there is a chance that you could lose it. So when people don't have much and suddenly they end up with a lot of power and their power actually gets to their head, they stop being humble. And when you stop being humble in life, that's when you've got a problem. So I'm going to speak about ways that you can stay humble even if you've got a lot more than what you had and you're in a position where you literally are so excited and the power may be getting to your head and maybe you might be seeing things and people in a different way. I'm going to show you a way now that you can literally stay humble and I'm going to show you a few tips to keep in mind and when you are in that position, no one's going to think badly of you and you know what? You're still going to gain the value that you have. The thing that people don't actually understand is that when you when you have a lot of power you don't gain respect respect is earned it's not bought it's not gained you can't just buy respect you can't just have it if you want respect you need to earn it and I'm gonna show you how to earn respect and how to stay humble in these simple steps okay so the first first number one step that you need to keep in mind is you need to always encourage feedback it's very important that you see how you're doing. If you are in any situation, it's always good to get feedback because you might not see something. No matter how you went from zero to hero, you always got to get feedback. There's always room for improvement. There's always ways you can improve. And I'll tell you something, you would gain a lot more respect from people and you would be a lot more humble if you was in a position where you considered everyone's emotions, everyone's feelings, and you actually genuinely asked for feedback in order to improve whatever it is that you're doing. Step number two, always stay grounded. You have to be grounded no matter what you're doing. Don't lose sight of where you've come from. Stay grounded. Make sure in life that you always know where you've come from. You always remember the people that stood by you on your darkest days. Remember that. So many people lose themselves when power gets to their head. They stop being humble. They forget who their friends really are. And they end up being with friends that they call friends. But in theory, they are just friends based on the economy and based on the materialistic things that they all have and they all can share. But in the darkest days, those people will not be their friends. So make sure you remember who your friends are, who your true family are, and that is that. So now we've spoken about staying grounded, it's so important now that we speak about my next point, which is always practice gratitude. Always talk about things that you are grateful for. Always wake up in the morning and be grateful for the things that you might not think about every single second of the day. For example, be grateful that you've actually woken up in the morning because one and a half thousand people a day don't actually do that. Be grateful that you have a roof over your head. Be grateful that you have a heater to turn on so you're not sleeping in the cold. Be grateful that you have good family and friends around you that support you no matter what. These are things that people lose sight of. And it's things like this that when you lose sight of these things, you end up being big-headed. You end up being cocky. And that's when you stop being humble. And that's when the power gets to your head. So it's all a vicious cycle. So just be grateful of all the little things before you think about the big things. Because the little things are the most important things to be grateful about. I mean, I want you to ask yourself, when was the last time that you actually woke up and was grateful and actually spoke out to yourself and said, I am so happy and grateful that I have a roof over my head, I have food on the table, I have clean water, I have a happy and healthy family around me, and I'm not sleeping in the cold. I really want you to ask yourself that question because it is so important. My next point is, Never, 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 ever think that you are already at the top. You'll never be the best of the best and you'll never be at the top. There's always someone better than you, there's always someone worse off than you. Just remember that. Always live into your potential. Don't assume that you are at the top of your game. There's always room for improvement. There's always a potential to be better. So always live into that potential. And I guarantee you, every single day, people will see you trying. People will see you bettering yourself. And that's the kind of respect that people will give you. They're going to see you as someone who will never, ever, ever settle for less. And who will always want to improve. And who understands that there is room for improvement. Which will then make you humble. Because you don't think that you're God's gift to the world. Humble people actually have a higher physical and mental 
well-being in life versus someone who's not. In life, there's too many people nowadays that think that they're better than everyone. There's too many people that think they're on top of the world. Listen, people got to sit down, sit back and relax. We are all equal. And what I love about humble people is that they accept that we are all equal and they encourage inclusivity into everything that they do in life. They don't judge a book by its cover. They judge a book by their actions. For someone who's humble, they always know how many times they've actually been successful in life, but they also remember exactly the times that they failed. It's very important to understand that success is not a good teacher. It's the failure that is a good teacher. The failure that makes you humble. It's the failure that reminds you that, you know, you can slip up. It's what makes you humble to know that you never had it and you can easily lose it. Okay guys, so that's it for today. If there's anything you guys want me to actually speak about and you have any re requests or recommendations, just leave it down in the comments below. Hit the like button if you felt like you gained value from this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos so you don't miss out. So follow my Instagram page which is at George Motivation for daily motivational posts in life and in business. I go deep and personal on my Instagram and I'm posting frequently. You don't want to miss it so it's at George Motivation. Make sure you check it out. Take care guys, see you later, thanks for watching.